Hey lovelies, this is Max the Divine, and yes, I have no makeup on, all my drag makeup is off, and I do not have eyebrows because they're annoying, and anyway, and it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I thought I would do a quick little video about heels, and drag, anybody who wants to start dragging my experience on heels, so I am a size 14 in men's, and the rule of thumb is, is your woman's size is two sizes up, so therefore I'm a 14, my woman's size is a 16. Yes, I know, 16 heels, what the fuck, but, okay, like if you're a size 12 in men's, you know, 12, thir you know, 13 or 14, okay, Rule of thumb, all heels are made differently. So, like, for instance, these are a size 16 classic 4-inch heel. I did the glitter myself, by the way, and these have been for the hell and back. But, yeah, these are a size 16. They fit. And... When you're doing, well, it seems like when I do drag and I have all of my, you know, pantyhose and my stockings on, it actually makes it more snug. So, the rule of thumb is like, these, personally, I did start out with these as in dancing and stuff. But, after many painful nights... I suggest that if you want to start out drag, get a heel that is chunkier, a chunkier heel, or get a dance heel. They make them. You go on website. And by the way, these shoes, if you are a big footed female like I is, I bought these off of Amazon and they were like 30 something dollars. And, like, I don't know. They were, like, 30-something all together. But they were really, and really they liked me a long time. So, rule of thumb is when you start out drag, and, you know, most people who start out drag just go to the club and mingle and talk and have drinks with everybody and, you know, kiki. But really, when you start, if you do want to start drag and get to the heart of it, I would suggest getting a thick heel or a wedge type heel or maybe even a three inch, okay? I'm six foot four and I weigh 300 pounds, okay? I'm not going to wear over a four inch heel, I'm sorry, but I can rock a pair of heels. Weight don't matter. I know how to strut. <laughs> this is that walk, honey. But, yes. Um, wedge, dance heel, uh, a sh tinier heel, you know, stuff like that. And, I suggest I don't have them in there now, but get the insoles, the pads. Um, it seems like when I first started wearing heels a lot is really you're supposed to balance, you know, but a lot of people, <sighs> oh, dirty. Um, a lot of people basically like tip, tippy toe on them. Like they don't really put their weight on the heel itself, which when you're walking in heels is supposed to be, like, I don't know how to explain it. You would have to watch a video on YouTube here about how to um, walk in heels. But, yes, if you're first starting out, I would get something with a chunkier heel. And if you're a big footed girl like I am, um, 15s or 16s. Now, if I want to go low as a 14, I would have to get a slingback heel or a peak toe heel, which a slingback 
really offers you two more sizes, I don't know. It's like, I know my shoes. So a sling bag offers you two more sizes in the front and the back. So a sling toe. And I hate to say this, but it there there have been some drag queens that have just, honey, a cliffhanger. If y'all don't know what a cliffhanger is, say this is the heel and their toes be hanging off the cliff. It is, oof, Ronica, RuPaul's Drag Race. Anyway, I don't mean to hate. No tea, no shade, honey. But, yes, um, to wrap it all up, when you're first beginning, get a either a 3-inch heel, a wedge, or a chunkier heel. Now, if you first start out dragging, you can walk in a pair of heels, no problem. Honey, go right ahead. More power to you. I wish I could when I had first done it, but it took me some time. Like I knew how to walk in them, but not that good. But anyway, that's it. And if you want, if for all you big footed girls out there, Amazon.com. Now, a lot of the bigger size shoes seem to be like um, the company that sold me these, uh, well, the brands off of it, but they were called Pleasures. And really, all their shoes look kind of like dominatrix -y. Like they had the boots that go up to your hip almost, I don't know, it was crazy, but yes, um, really walking in heels, you have to practice, you have to practice, you have to practice, and really, if you want to start, not even go out to the club, but if you want to, um, if you want to practice at home, go to Payless, get you a little pair of evening heels, you know, Something that you can work with and uh, strut down your driveway, in your living room, in your kitchen. It all matters. Just practice, practice, practice because there have been plenty of people who have actually worn heels, tripped in them, broken their ankles, and could never wear them again. And if they do wear them again, they're in extreme pain all the time. But yes, that is my info on heels. So I'm signing off. Peace and love, guys.